Oh, we still going? We had an hour and seven. Might have been a notification. Of Yahweh, keep not silent. That's right. We're not keeping silent, man. And uh, our brethren not keeping silent because yeah. we're all one body. So, like we always bring up the uh, the brothers in uh, Australia. You know what I'm saying? We might be sleep over here, but hey, it's 8 a.m. when it's 12. <laughs> but um. All right, and all, and all the likewise brothers, man. We don't keep silence day nor night. So even when we're sleeping, you got brothers on the, in another goddamn time zone, in another goddamn part of the earth, all right, that's preaching this word, man. And we're not resting, man. Or even like us, they'll use us as a camp. Sometimes the brother will be up because he's working. So sometimes, even our camp, some brother might work overnight. Yep. Be getting off when yep. the other brothers are sleeping yep. and might do it to you. Exactly. Yeah. This is a constant thing, man. Constant. Especially uh slacking. Especially powered by uh by the apostles uh start with tomorrow down. They constantly cranking out videos, giving the YouTube no risk. That, al that algorithm, that uh them bots steadily working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Isaiah uh, 62 and 7 and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's right. We're not going to give the Lord no rest until he shuts our mouths up, man. There's going to come a time where this uh, preaching all right, and, and, and professing the word of the Lord is going to be outlawed. They want to do it now, but it's not time. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? We always say, hey, speaking as men, uh, some of us think that the elect is sealed already. We don't know that yet, but we know we're damn near close. And once that time comes, we're going to get to the book of Zechariah 3 and 26. Ezekiel 3 and 26. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezekiel 3 and 26, where the Lord is going to shut our mouths up, man. We're going to be uh, dumb. No, no. joke about that but yeah. that shit really does vex us yeah we tired of this shit man this is the this we gotta laugh at it to keep it proud yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? this is stupid, man. Yeah, this, is literally, <laughs> this is literally in the valley of the shadow of death, death man yeah. death all around us man that's right bro. drop bones all around us man yeah. and we keeping watch like the script like the brothers just had me read we keeping watch and we not giving the lord rest man yeah. crying constantly asking the lord when 
are, are now going to return, uh, restore the kingdom of heaven at, at this time. Every day, man, that's what we're asking. Every day we got to get up, go, go to work, go put gas in your car. It's the damn, you just paid your bill, now you worry about another bill. Every day we A lot of our people are not even getting themselves mentally ready for this. They're getting themselves mentally ready for America opening back up again. Uh, America, you know what I'm saying, returning back to normal. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's the spirit. That's the spirit that the Babylonians are in now. That is about to be all good. But what's our spirit in when we, when we see Esau Edom trying to cap and uh, trick the people? We see 1 Thessalonians 5. Uh, uh, when they shall say peace is safe, that's what we see in our mind. All right, you saw trying to paint like it's about to get back. Nah, man. All right, then such is what you gonna come, man. Everybody can't sit on All right, that's when the Lord gonna have a fucking major something happen, man. All right. This is Jeremiah 37. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time for Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, we come in a time where, hey, you black see those Native Americans, man. Y'all got to repent, man, because, hey, uh, like the scriptures say, there's going to be a time like never before. All uh, right. Uh, like a time not like chattel slavery, uh, the great flood. Everything that happened before time, man, is not even going to be able to hold account to what's about to happen. Right. You know? So you got to repent, man. Yeah. If, you are, if you're an Israelite. Yeah, times are going to get so bad that Michael, the top angel, is going to have to come back, man. All right, the top uh, angel is going to have to come back and, 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 and step in for the nation of Yasharala, man. That's how bad things are. The Lord is going to have to send one of his top men from the spiritual world to hell, man. <laughs> All right, he ain't saying uh, Gabriel. He got to send Michael, man. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Matthew 24, uh, 23. Basically, it sounded like never before. Well, oh yeah, well I got I got Matthew 24. 
That's what we're saying. Two and four and that Daniels goes in there. Yeah, I got it. You got it, man. Let me read it, man. Read that. Where you want me to start? Twenty-four and twenty-three. Twenty-three. I think it's twenty-three. Twenty-four. 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 Twenty-four.
And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held his sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue cast a sparks and tip. Right, Yahushua is going to return his grace, but he's going to still, he's going to be in charge of all these angels and everything that's going on. Right. So even though he's on the right hand side and he's King of Kings, Lords of Lords, he's still going to be orchestrating this death and destruction. These these uh, uh nukes are going to be uh, uh, flying and, and, and doing their work, and also the chariots of the Most High, spitting out that uh concentrated fire. They were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest. Yep. And fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. And burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of the numeral of multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. And the Lord is going to ultimately goddamn destroy these people, man, by fire, man. Right. Hey, look, the Lord, it said uh, by tempest, man, the Lord is going to manipulate this fire to where it's going to be like a, a tornado fire, like whirlwind, yeah. man. That's going to yeah. devour these people. Uh, I'm seeing it right now as the scripture, as he read it, bro, like that tempest that he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, I can't even explain it, but it's basically, you know, it's going to be like man, it's going to be a uh, global fire that's going to, uh, effect over there, up there in the heavens because that's one of the levels where that fight, that's where the fight is going to be at. Yeah. All right, uh, this fight is not just going to be on the ground with tanks and shit. Right. No, they got jets, they got B2s, stealth, jets, they got all types of shit. And that, that's where they're going to try to subdue the house out. And they're going to be uh, so afraid that the most high, the outside is going to have to put the spirit on them to fight just so he can have some game, man. Yeah. Just so he can have, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, that lines up with Revelation 12 and 7. It says that there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought with his angels. That's right. The dragon, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Represent uh, uh, the military. All right. The uh, EU, NATO, the military. All right. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? The dragon's angels, like the angels, you said, they, yeah. got, they got planes. They got planes. They got all, uh, uh, all type of steps, jets, drones, all type of shit. Including the, uh, 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 the, uh, the actual people themselves that yep. are part of the military that man these uh, aircraft. Right. You know what I'm saying? to a nuclear blast, man. you know? Uh, it, it's the outer part of it, it's the direct part where the missile strikes, it's a hundred so miles outside of it, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's very destructive, man. And, and it's, it's gonna be like a winch, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and we'll send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. And the Lord gonna have angels, man. He gonna have angels basically because uh, uh, when you fan a fire, it makes it, uh, you know what I'm saying? It increases it, man. Intensifies it. Right, so you're going to have angels uh, having the fire stay in a certain place and, you know what I'm saying, not doing them down, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, all type of stuff, man. Keeping it, yep. Keeping it, yep. Keeping it to right where it's like this 
like the scriptures also say that the, uh, the missiles are, they have a designated place they're going to hit, man. And they're not going to miss their right. heart. Yeah. 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 And was sent unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. And, and, her, and who is her, what is her land talking about? Man? Oh, he's talking about Babylon the Great, her, the whore that rideth uh, upon many waters. Okay? America the Great, or America the not so. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about against him that fitteth. Let the hearts of men is bold, and against him that lifted, lifted himself up in his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly our host. That's right, man. The Lord's gonna destroy all, all of these uh, uh all of these armies, all, and all these people pretty much, man, that is gonna take the RFID microchip, alright, that uh, hasn't repented yet, you know what I'm saying, and that's living in wisdom, just everybody that's meant to be destroyed is gonna be destroyed. Verse 4, thus, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through her in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of Yahweh of hosts, through their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. That's right. So then the Lord, hey, um, you know, he's gonna, he has his elect that he's going to save you know, uh, his leg is not going to forsake, even though, like the scripture just said, a little bit before that, uh, all this death and destruction, but you're going to have a remnant that's going to be saved out of that. Uh, the 144,000 and the one-third remnant that's over here. All right, verse 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. That's right, so all the... chains and made them work for free and treated them and like cattle you know what i'm saying treated them yeah. and put them in the worst position especially the the uh act of getting over here right. in those damn slave ships pissing shitting on each other vomiting on each other come and on that, man and they're pretending like you uh they're pretending like you emancipated so-called slaves just to send them back into another form of kind of slave right Right. And in the north working in them down. And still working in the mills and shit. Right. They put you, yeah, they sent you up north to work in all the damn steel mills yeah. and uh, all the damn factories. Right. Yeah. So you working down there too? Exactly. And hell and all that fucking smoke and, and shit. Yeah. And the coal mine. Coal and shit. mine, yeah. For for little labor. For, for yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what and, and Harriet Tubby was set up. Oh yeah, she was set up. She she was set up to do that shit. That's why they wanted to put it on the $20 bill. That's right. But anyway, you know, not to go out of trouble. You guys know that? Speaking on uh, about how you Israelites love America, 
this is your rest. The scriptures telling you to flee out of the midst of her, not physically but mentally. Because physically you you ain't gonna go nowhere. We're gonna have to stay here and do do what we need to do to get our daily bread with them. But uh, mentally, man, we have to flee out of this place, man. We have to flee our minds from the philosophy and the ways of America, man. From the mind state of America. From the mind state of that uh, uh Okay, when uh, you know what I'm saying, those thermonuclear missiles get to you know flying off. But to physically flee this place, hey, you're done, man. You you gonna either end up in another place where you gonna get destroyed, or you gonna end up right back here. Yeah, because that whole the, everybody on the planet is gonna have to take the chip. Yeah, you ain't gonna go to somewhere where they ain't. All right, this country, we we not we not doing the chip. No. Right. We gonna have to take family. the chip overseas too. Yeah. So you're just going to be in a more, more of a predicament. Yeah, you might as well stay be, where you know. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know here. In a foreign land. So you go land. to a foreign land. You, you got to know, know, the, the, know another language. Yeah, yeah. How the people do things. You can't yeah. spit on the ground in certain places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah, well, yeah, fuck yeah, you yeah, up. Yeah, I spit on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, verse 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk it of her wine. The foreign nations are mad. That's, hey, what's that wine, man? Uh, these philosophies that America uh, has, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, brought into the fold, man. Uh, lesbianism, feminism, um, every democracy, every everything, everything that you could think of, all right, uh, America pushes, all right, and all these nations are drunken of it, man, and they're mad. They're going crazy, man. They're angry and they're going crazy, man, because they have basically pimped themselves out to follow the American way. But deep down inside, they know that that shit wrong. Like yeah. them East Indians, man, they be killing themselves, their wives, because they want to be whores and shit, and all type of shit, man. And all because America perpetuates and, and puts on a pedestal that uh, oh, uh, being a free spirit, do as thou will, yeah. and hell no. That's the top philosophy of America. Do what's that will. Yeah. Unless the crowd. But yeah, all the other crowd is the church is saying. Yeah. Uh, do what's that will. Tell me the whole of the law. Yeah, exactly. And that's. Come on. All right. Uh, verse 8. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take blame for her pain? It's like it. It's like it. I'll read it again. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her to take fall for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. That's right, hey. So if America be healed, can be healed, you gotta reverse uh, slavery shouldn't yeah. happen. Um all, all of this, all of this these bad, these negative things that happen, uh, that America has a hand in, should have never happened. So, but but it has happened. You can't take bomb for for uh for her wounds, man. You can't heal her, man. So the Lord gonna have to destroy her like a, a lame animal that has some infectious disease. You gotta put it down, man. You can't just you gonna it's gonna just 
suffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, and the Lord is not gonna allow America, yeah. America to suffer longer, man. I was gonna say, like, well, she's called a whore. Yeah. So she's got basically she's yeah. riddled with AIDS yeah. and shit. Yeah. And you can't, you can't heal yourself. Man. Right. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah. So it's best that you get put out of your misery, man, just to suffer. <laughs> Verse nine. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, to his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. What's our judgment, man, in this book? Everything that's written against Babylon the Great, America, is in this book. So to heal Babylon, you would have to reverse the words of Yahweh from the outside. You can't do that. It's not going to happen. Hey man, so hey, uh, hopefully this is edifying, man. If you're a black, Latino, Native American, so-called, or if you're a person that is not offended by me saying that, yeah. and you 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 adhere to these words, right, and these words grab you, yeah. hey, uh, do do some research, yeah. pray, right. fast. You might be an Israelite, man. Yeah. We're not just saying that the black Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites because those are bywords and proverbs in themselves yeah. that I'm using. So you should look deeper into it. Where we're basically we're saying that loosely uh, the black Latinos and Native Americans yeah. are Israelites based on the areas that they were scattered upon in Babylon the Great and other parts. Yeah. But hey, like the scriptures say, um, the Israelites have been scattered all over yep. the four corners yep. of the earth. And I was gonna say, uh, try try your spirit with the Bible, man. Yep. Yep. That's how you know if you're Israel or not, man. Yep. Yep. If you uh, believe in the things that we're uh, bringing out in truth and sincerity, yep. all right. Try your spirit with the spirit uh, of with the Rakako Dash, yep. and, and then that's how you'll know, man. And then from there, uh, if the Lord uh, deems fit, you can repent and start yep. to seek His face yep. and yep. seek Him, yep. you know, ten times more, yep. where you will uh, be able, especially in these times now, right. man. Yep. People that are just now starting to repent, oh man, hey, it's you got a lot of you got a lot to do. Like us brothers, we done repented and still repenting, but it's been years, so we have some work. But man, don't take it lightly if you get woken up to this word in these latter days, man. That means you gotta be from here on out. You gotta be focused on the Lord, man. Like we are, but much more, you gotta repent for them sins and you still got a cleansing to do, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, if you hey, if you're Israelite, repent, come back to the law, statutes, commandments, and y'all about you time. before it's too late, because hey, we are at the end, this is the end, man. Hey, we're gonna give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashir, Yahusha, Bashir, Rakabadash. Double honor to our apostles and the elders, a great millstone who are well. A hey, peace, love, salutations, and rest, blessings to the Lord's elect. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom. This is the end. Ababa Ball. UTA. Come. Ababa Ball.